Hey everybody, uh, it's Bust, and we're doing our Path of Champions playthrough, and in this video, we'll be battling with Bard against Garen and the Might of Demacia. And so, uh, as our Bard stands, we are at zero stars, womp womp, but we've got our champion level up to 15, and so we've unlocked two of the relics. We're currently playing with the Stalker's Blade uh, to give ourselves a bit of interactivity, uh, and then with Bard, I feel like the key is both... Uh, looking for cheap plays and looking for interactivity. And so I like to start off with the rerolls uh, as a means to try and improve our deck as opposed to improving our champion. And so with that being that, let's go ahead and jump on in. Where did you go? Man, it did this to us in the last video. Maybe got to bounce out, bounce back. There we go. We're into the Garen. The battles are beginning. <laughs> All right. Ash there in the middle. Garen at the end, feeling pretty good about it. And so, let's see what powers turn up. And so, some of these are useful with Bard. Uh, when an ally survives damage, grant it plus one, plus one. That does help boost our Bard. Uh, but it's like a little bit slow in terms of getting him going. I much prefer the ones to where it's like when you play a unit, it gives out the bonus. Uh, I also like things like uh, Wild Inspiration. It's kind of nice to pick it up first because it gives you kind of an idea uh, that you can build around as deck building goes on. But we have all these rerolls. I'm going to look for something a little bit more uh, on theme with what we can do here. Uh, and oh man, we picked up a legendary. Add a random item to each card in your deck this game. I mean, it's legendary. We have to just take it, right? <laughs> I, I think realistically, uh, the proper and more powerful one to take is actually the Lion Weight. But man, if the legendaries turn up, you got to take them, right? This is bound to be a legendary trial, if you will. And so <laughs> let's get to it. I gotta quit calling them trials. I know they're adventures. Trials were expeditions. Adventures are Path of Champions, but it's kind of stuck in my brain, and so we'll, we'll work on that. But again, uh, as we've said in the previous videos, I like to mulligan away Esmuth. Uh, it just doesn't do anything on the board in the early game, and against a lot of the adventures, that's just too slow. And so we're looking for our birds, we're looking for our stone stackers, and then if we have to play Esmuth, because that's just you know how the game has, has presented itself, fine, uh, but this is not an ideal start for what we're trying to do. What items do you got? The elusive Starlit Stag, the fearsome babbling balladeer. Would we pick up a spell shield on onto, uh, onto Bard? He's ready for battle. I'm going to go with the elusive squad here, though. Go ahead and chunk in this damage. We'll most certainly win the game on our next attack, but Ideally, we can get out of this without taking any damage. Right now, Bard can uh, sword down uh, the Scythria, should that be his only unit. He's out of mana, so we don't have to worry about him playing anymore. Okay, we're good. All right, let's kill some stuff, and then we'll get the open kill with the Starlit Stag. Elusive spell shield units, just what everyone's looking for. The Bastion of interactivity. <laughs> All right. Rip it. G G. Okay, what do we got? Ruthless Raider. Cheap enough. You could go for the memes and just take the Targon's Peak, but I, I don't think that's actually going to work out too well with our deck here. So we'll pick up the Ruthless Raider. The Overwhelm units are kind of nice to have with Bard, uh, since it can be good to early and good late. And so reasonable pickup there. These cards are all way too expensive, though. I could see an argument for Nasus uh, if, if we don't have any like good top end. Like You can take Nasus and say, like, okay, I just don't need an expensive card the rest of the game, uh, but we'll skip over that here. And then both Zillion and Taric are fairly uh, meh in terms of a bard deck. So what do we got? We rerolled there. Uh, Quinn is always okay. We took Pantheon in our previous video. He's not that exciting, but he does show up with a couple of cheap plays. Why? Do you, why are Hardy rations generating? Like why? Just give him regenerate. Okay. But uh, all in all, this is not a super ideal set. I don't really want the Pantheon. Uh, Let's, let's just go ahead and pick up the scouts here. Oh, they're so expensive, though. I'm re-rolling it. Get it out of here. These all suck. I want the Pantheon back. <laughs> and the Renekton will be okay. What's his item here? 
plus four, plus four, but cost two more. Damn, that's an expensive Renekton. All right, my dude. All right. And what do we got? Champion item chest. These are always interesting with Bard, since you get the additional champions into your deck. Uh, I think that's the route we can take here. He has the, the, the Scar Grounds of sorts. If his ally survives, he gets bonus attack. Not that big of a deal. There we go. We'll keep our one and our two. Get rid of everything else. Come on, bud. We got a kitty here to help. Come on, bud. This should be the key to any successful Path of Champions gameplay guide is having the appearance of a cat. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if he plans on showing up. He's thinking about the best way to jump on me and, and sink his claws in in the process. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Getting a little distracted. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. All right, guess he doesn't want to hang out. This game's cruising right along, though. Getting the plus one, plus three onto Bird is pretty bonkers. Our, our Stone Stackers is pretty interesting as well. Uh, generating the rallies on a Challenger unit's always kind of nice, uh, and this game should just be done immediately. <laughs> and so we'll open with the big slam. We don't need it, but we'll get a rally in the process. Move right along. GG. Come on, bud. Come on. There we go. I assured you there was a kitty. Here he is. He's, sh he's shown up. He's made his way to the internet today. <laughs> People like this weird fuck just talking to the ground like there's a cat there. <laughs> I assure you, he was here. He was here. And with these, uh, let's pick up the exhaust. It's cheap, uh, and it works with our Renekton, should we ever get to that stage of the game. And so uh, I think that's going to be a reasonable addition. Pick up the champion item. We're definitely going with Bard. Uh, and I think the Black Cleaver works with our summon ability. I'm not sure if these operate you know, by order of operations from top to bottom to where the strike happens before the double. Uh, hopefully that's not the case, but uh, we'll, we'll find out soon enough. Things are coming along pretty nicely here. We got our, we got ourselves a, a strong little deck to do battle with. All right, you know how we do it. We keep the one drop, get rid of everything else, look for bird, look for the stone stackers, ruthless raider. You're a fine addition. Definitely on board. God, we we're just getting the savage shields everywhere. So huge on these one cost units. Oof. Oh, I, I, I thought we were going to be able to tough survive the, the Fleet Feather Tracker, but my math was a little off. Not the first time, not the last time that math is going to be a little off. Does this copy itself? What do you, why do you... Why does this keep functioning? Why do I highlight the card and it does weird shit like this? What is this? What is this? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Enough of that, I guess. All right, so he has the free hook onto our bird. We could look to just Ruthless Predator through this. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to choose to not care. Oh, this is an ephemeral thing, right? Create a fleeting copy in hand, sure. Okay, here comes Bard. Let's see how this interaction works. He's going to kill the unit either way, but I'm curious if it deals four or if it deals two. It dealt two. I, I, I watched for the animation. What was his other thing? Did he just make somebody free? Why were you free? X tech something. All right. Oh, we didn't even lethal? F. The game drags on. I'm gonna play some stuff. It's not like we're gonna lose, right? <laughs> that's a that's a very good strategy to take. Eh. It's not like we're gonna lose. Let's just get our cards in here and call it a day. GG.
All right, let's see here. I'm not super interested in any of these. Uh, the Bakai Wither Claw is pretty meh. Let's just take this 4-3 hired gun. Uh, just a, a cheap and interactive unit. No real complaints. What is that, a shop? Or an item chest? Always love me a good item. More hired gun seems okay. Well, I think I can get behind the cheaper Ruthless Predators as well. Interaction is the key. That's going to be our motto the rest of the way. Cut a card. Pretty happy with all of these. They all cost either one or two mana. So let's go battle. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm even gonna get rid of the two drop here. I want to find something that costs one mana. Uh, it's like if we re-roll into another two, kind of like whatever. But I, I, I think it's safe to just go ahead and go for it. Looking like a pretty good draw now. I'm gonna skip over this one. It's like interesting that our our bird picked up Scout. We're, we're gonna be able to take a bit of advantage of it here. I'm gonna go ahead and use it and just take down the Omen Hawk. Uh, we could lead with Esmuth and see if he plays a better unit, but I, I think we're gonna be getting two attacks out of this turn. We'll, we'll definitely kill something with the exhaust. And then re-attack with bird. Is that? If so many abilities, oh the uh, the exhaust put an item on him. We got items everywhere. I got a cat over here just digging its claws into me. It's a wonderful feeling. He likes to do that when I'm asleep as well. He just shows up. <laughs> he says, "Hey, I need some pets." You should be awake now. And then he, he just claws right into you. It's really sweet. Alright. Good attack with old bird. And then we should be in a good spot to just end the game now. Got a ruthless predator here. Looking to ruthless predator uh, the ash onto our zero attack unit. And then just get the damage in with our other two. what people call going for the lethal. Rip him. Easy game. Easy game taking down Ash. She can be problematic for Bard. Like, I, I feel like if you follow the strategy we're putting forth to where you're just like a really, really cheap deck, uh, you, you attack the, the Ash in two ways, right? You get both... Um, you, you get to both... Um, like, go wide, so you have a bunch of units on the board, so our Frostbite isn't that big of a deal. And then you also, uh, like, if you're just playing that 1, 2, 3, 4 curve, she she interacts with that much better. And so I, I think it's a fairly safe bet to, uh, to to just follow what we're doing here. The general bard strategy, if you will. And here, cards you draw this round cost one less is quite good here. Uh, gives us the, the opportunity, you know, when you're trying to just play ones and two drops, it makes everything much, much cheaper. Slotbot gives rerolls. I'm not super interested in that. Uh, what's this uh, spell chest? Okay, we'll go through the proving grounds. I feel like we've proven ourselves already. We'll try to prove it again. Look at that. Look at all those zero cost units. God, that feels good. Oh, he's just got the item. I thought it was zero because of our our, our power, but it's not the case. Just bird bird out here on the cheap today sweet turns out the the legendary items are pretty good <laughs> here's the new strategy just go and reroll until you get a, a legendary item easy peasy And a 5-4 hired gun. Pretty good. Many stats. What are you, deep? That's kind of cool, I guess. Now, here's the unfortunate thing. It's like we want to get some value out of Bard, but our opponent doesn't have any units on the board. I don't think it's going to matter. He's... he's. Oh, he lost his... No, oh, I'm losing it. He lost his, his point of attack. 
All right, let's pick up the rally. Maybe, maybe we can get a second attack here. We can still eight and eight. All right, we win. Easy. Get out of here, unscarred reaver. Give us that, that turn three W. Ah, uh, he emoted late. We were supposed to respond. Okay. Let's see here. Ooh, another stone stackers with a, a decent ability. Sure. I'm on board. What do we got here? A shop or a spell chest? I'll take the spells. These are all garbage. <laughs> I take it back. I don't want I don't want the spells. I want the chest. Oh, we still get there. Okay. Everything here is very expensive except more birds. What's the power? Okay, we can afford it all. So we'll take the power. Take the additional birds. Move on. Move on. I'm not sure what the Honored Lord encounter is. I'm I'm sure we'll roll right through it. I, I kinda wanna just get it for my records. <laughs> and so you, you can assume that we're we're crushing today. We're crushing. Crushing hearts. Crushing dreams. Crushing souls. A little bit of all the crushing you could look to do. Does this one give my supported ally 1-1 one, one and my keywords? Interesting. These stone stackers have been getting some pretty wild uh, equipments this game. I can go ahead and hook in Scythria. I think we can just wait, though, and try and get a kill next turn. All right, we have the Starlit Stag on board. What's he do? Reduce my cost by the cost of your most expensive champion. Wow. Oh. So play Bard, then play everything else for free. Got it. Double strike. Whammy. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. Alright, GG. Easy game. Alright, good luck with this, Garen. Good luck with this. We've been slamming it the whole video. What we got? Another one drop starts in your hand if you don't have it already. That's pretty decent, but uh, it doesn't have any like other good items attached to it. I think like we're pretty decent at picking up our one drops as it is. Does this get a rare item? Pretty cool. Uh, I want the big bonus attack one for Bard uh, so that he's stronger when we immediately play. Get that big strike in should we need it. Cosmic Binding. Kind of scary to cut out. Uh, given that it's one of our few ways to interact, but I, I think our units are so good and we're at such like a low tier, uh, a low tier adventure that we're just gonna rely on all of our early plays having a ton of stats. Uh, we'll just come in and crush that way. Gotta keep all the units here. Double bird again. All right, well, we got to get that dummy out of here. All right. Get these big attacks in. Easy. Nope. Think we'll be able to turn four of them. It's gonna be like turn six before we're able to get enough damage in. But you know, we're looking strong. We're looking strong. Maybe maybe I gotta change my tune now that we just drew Bard. He's only coming in for 14. Maybe we will get the turn four. <laughs> get out of here, Garen. Just move along. GG. So 
pretty pretty easy adventure. Uh, that's it's one of the you know it's a it's a half a star or one star adventure, so you shouldn't be having too much trouble with it, even if you're uh, lower in the in the champion powers. But uh, again, I think we got you some pretty good uh, ideas to to run along with. A couple of good ideas to uh, help carry you through your adventure should you need a little help. Again, with Bard, uh, you're looking for cheap plays. That's all we did in this one. And outside of the cheap plays, you're looking for interactivity. Uh, you just have to be able to come down and get on board early because uh, as the adventures increase in difficulty, uh, just putting down nothing or just putting down Esmuth in the early game is going to get you overwhelmed. So with that being that, that is going to do it for the video. Hope everyone enjoyed it and you have yourselves a good day out there.